Okay, hello everybody. So today I'm gonna show you one of the little tricks I got to regrain a shot. So most of the time when I do a shot, usually I denoise my shot. We usually need video or whatever tool I have available. And I did I do a subtract from the original to the denoise plate. So we have like a version with grain and without grain and we subtract this. So now we have a grain that is separated from our shot. With the denoise plate I did a comp. So I just did a blur to show you that we can recreate for doing this. And usually what I'm gonna do you can have the subtract and you can re-add this over and your grain is reapplied. But the only problem is this when the grain is reapplied on the surface that has been modified, often the grain changes a lot. So we need to regenerate that grain. So often we can use many other tools to regrain uh, to recreate the grain, but sometimes we don't have any tools. So there's some little tricks I found with a 2D transform. What I take, I take my grain here and I take a crop on it. So I just change the output resolution to let's say 300 by 300 and I put my filter at nearest and I just find a spot that is a flat grain on my plate and after that nearest. So now we have a 300 by 300 of a grain that is pretty even overall. Then after that I take a second 2D transform that I set my resolution to my original footage by pressing T and you get the same resolution now as your original. This one was 300 by 300. Now we're back to HD resolution. So here we get this plate footage and I put this one is as a tile repeat so like that we have a tile repeat in areas so we have our our grain for the full surface of our image so with this you want to apply that grain only where the things has been modified so what I do is I do a difference between my denoise plate and my comp so in this case it's going to be my blur plate and now we have a difference of the boat too so this is where we want to recreate the grain actually because this is the place that has been modified only so with this we're going to do a 2d transform clamp it and then we know this is where we want to apply our grain so i got my original and i'm going to apply the grain with this area so from there if we want to adjust a little bit more this we can take another 2d transform from the comp and adjust this invert it you can adjust it here and do some grading on the grain so like that we can reapply a little bit of tone and there, on this case, I did the second one to bring back a little bit of color in this. So when we look at it here, we modify here. You can even look at it with a context on this case and we can modify and like, oh, I want a little bit more like this just to match more. So now we're pretty good. But now I've seen this, we have this black area. This is the blend. This is an issue of flame that I don't know why exactly. So to solve this, what I do is I take a, the 2D transform, the mat where we apply our new grain, I invert it, and I do a max lighten from the subtract over. So this part, we remove this black area. So now we have a pretty even new grain recreated for this plate. And this is all clean. So now this we can reapply that over our comp. And now we have a really nice grain. We can see reapply over the comp compared to this original version that we have all those artifacts. So this is all the tool that you have in the flame already. 
that you can recreate a beautiful grain. Thank you.